Welcome! Welcome to my new virtual story town with Mr. Shike Space. This is our first time, and I brought a friend with me, Robert Munch. This is his book called Pajama Day. It's illustrated by Michael Marchenko, and it's published by Scholastic Books. I'm glad you could join me today. Pajama Day. Andrew's old pajamas, well, they were full of holes. So his father took him to get new ones. They went to a store. Andrew said, yuck, these pajamas do not feel right. They went to another store and Andrew said, yuck, these pajamas do not smell right. And they went to another store and Andrew said, yuck, these pajamas do not taste right. I will wear my old ones. His father took him to one more store. Way in the back was a rack that said, perfect pajamas. Andrew looked at the pajamas and said, all right, they look okay. He smelled the pajamas and said, all right, they smell okay. He tasted the pajamas and said, all right, they taste okay. So his father bought the pajamas. The next day was pajama day at school. Andrew put one foot into his new pajamas and he yawned once. He put the other foot in, yawned twice. He put one arm in and his eyes closed. He put the other arm in and fell fast asleep. <laughs> This was very strange because it was only nine o'clock. Andrew's teacher put him in the back of the room and said, he'll wake up in a bit. Andrew slept until recess and his teacher started to get worried. He slept until lunch and the principal started to get worried. He slept all afternoon and even the kids started to get worried. At the end of the day, the teacher called for a doctor. The doctor bonked Andrew on the knee, <laughs> looked in his ears and looked in his eyes. She said he was fine, but Andrew was still asleep. Then Andrew's big sister came to walk him home from school and she said, I'm going to call mom. Andrew's mother took one look and said, I see what's wrong. He's wearing perfect pajamas. She took Andrew's arm out of the pajamas and he yawned. She took the other arm out of the pajamas and one eye opened for just a second. She took out one foot and he opened both eyes. She took out the other foot and Andrew jumped up and said, is it recess yet? The principal came in and said, what's going on here? Look, said Andrew's mother, it was perfect pajamas that made him so sleepy. These are perfect pajamas. That's crazy, said the principal. I say there's no such thing as perfect pajamas. And I'm a principal, so I know everything. Twice. We do? Mm. But just to be sure, the principal decided to try them on. The principal looked at the pajamas. And they looked okay. He smelled the pajamas. And they smelled okay. He tasted the pajamas. And they tasted okay. He put one foot in the pajamas and he yawned. He put the other foot in the pajamas. Oh, and he yawned again. He put his arms in the pajamas and he fell fast asleep. Andrew's mother carried the principal back to his office and she took Andrew home. Then Andrew's mother made him some real perfect pajamas. They kept Andrew as warm as toast, even on cold nights. And they were really perfect because they only made Andrew go to sleep when he wanted to go to sleep. And the principal, he's still sleeping. Oh, oh. Pajama day by Robert Munch.